Hi everybody, uh, long time to see, and I'm not really going to explain that because, you know, it's just typical stuff. Um, anyway, I decided to make a video while I was laying in bed trying to go to sleep because um, I had this great thought running through my head. I've been watching Charmed, re-watching re it from the beginning, um, and I've kind of been doing marathons on my free days, which is all the time. Um, but it kind of got me thinking about how weird and complex, like, relationships are. Because, you know, a big part of the show, aside from the whole witchcraft and saving the world and whatnot, is the relationship dramas. So, I kind of wanted to, you know, talk it out. Because I was doing it in my head and I was like, this would make an interesting video. Um, so I'm going to start with um, what everyone else starts with, which is teenage dating um <laughs> dating because more often than not it's not really dating um at least in my experience <laughs> um so okay when you're a teenager or preteen middle school high school <laughs> child dating doesn't count cuz then you're just pretending you're an adult uh Never mind, you do that all the time. Uh, but when you're a teenager or preteen, dating is basically you're with somebody because it's cool to be with somebody. And you probably need somebody that makes you feel good about yourself. So that's why you're that's why you date. You're with people. You know, just just to be with somebody, not necessarily because you're looking for a long term thing or blah blah blah. You might think you are, but you're not. Because um, more often than not high school relationships don't last. For those that do, you know, congrats. But, um, so, there's that. Moving on, once you get into your adult life, that's where things kind of get complicated. Because, there's, you know, like, dating in the, in the old-fashioned sense, where you go on a date, you're not actually together, you know, afterwards, but you either decide do you want to see that person again, or do you not want to see that person again? If you want to see that person again, you go on maybe one or two more dates, and then you decide, okay, we're actually dating. And then you go on from there. That's one way to go about it. There's another way to go about it, which is probably more common nowadays, which is really sad, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> which would be, you go on a date, and you have sex on the first date. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm laughing that I'm talking this all out. Uh, and so, in that case, I actually was wondering. I don't even know how this works, because, obviously, I haven't done that. But, um, like, if you go home with a person on the first date, does that mean you're dating afterwards? Or does the other, you know, set of rules apply? Do you, do you go on a second date? Or do you, like, if you sleep with that person, and then you decide you don't want to, I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, I slept with you and I don't want to see you again. I guess that happens, depending on how good the sex is. Um, I'm crude tonight. Uh, whatever. Compared to my old stuff. Um, yeah. Where was I? Oh, right. Depending on how good the sex is, you decide if you want to see them or not, again or not. I guess you're back to where you started. But if you do want to see them again, does that automatically jump you to dating? Or do you go on a few more dates? I don't know. See? It's complicated. This is what I was thinking about when I was going to sleep. I don't, don't ask me why I was thinking about sex. I wasn't really. I was thinking about relationships. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, so I don't I don't really know where else I can go with that. But then, you know, it's like dating is a complex thing and relationships are complex things and I don't know why it's so complex. It's like do you like the person or do you not like the person? Okay, you like the person you're dating. Don't like the person, move on. <laughs> I don't know. I need to not watch Charmed. Ha <laughs> that's not gonna happen. I have to get through the rest of the series. Um, because I have it all on DVD, because I'm a nerd. And, um, I'm cold. <laughs> My jaw is shaking. Um, yeah, so that's my weird spiel on, on dating and relationships and blah, blah, blah. Um, 
I feel like I need to input that my personal relationship is going fantastically because it sounds like I'm nervous about relationships or something. I don't know. Um, it, I'm not. Everything's fine. <laughs> Love you, Jay. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired. I have to get up in the morning and uh, get on a plane. So, um, yeah. My eyes look bloodshot now that I'm looking at it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. I'm rambling, as per usual, but lots of ums involved. And my jaw is really chattering. Um, yeah, alright. Have a good night, everybody. Day, wherever you are. Um, I will hopefully update with real news about my life for anyone that's interested. Um, even though there's probably not that many people. Maybe one hand's worth of people. Um, <laughs> and I probably talk to them. So they already know. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> good night, everybody.